everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So we're going to get into some Major League Baseball action for May the 22nd. But before we do, I want to invite you to join the VIP Club section, which has all the tools to help you make your picks. Okay, so the Major League Baseball season is a quarter of the way complete already, so let's take a look at some of the games for May the 22nd. The first game we want to look at is the St. Louis Cardinals and the Cincinnati Reds. You see the Cardinals come in burning hot. They have won five out of their last six. While the Reds are averaged down, they have lost three out of their last four and are three and three over their last six. Jordan Montgomery is scheduled to pitch for the Cardinals. You can see he comes in with a two and four record with an ERA of 4.21. But you notice he's a very poor bet at minus $538 on the pitcher profit oscillator. If you take a look at the over-under, you notice that, um, here we go, the Cardinals have been involved in games over the line in three out of their last six, while the Reds have been involved in games over the line in four out of their last six. The score predictor has the Cardinals in a five to nothing shutout, but look at the confidence in prediction, very low at only 19%. So take a look at that as it gets closer and closer to the game time, see if the confidence in the prediction has gone up. Um, and the power ranks indicator, you can see a downward trend for Cincinnati and up, up slightly over the last day. But in general, a downward trend, they are at plus 8, while the Cardinals are at plus 10 at the moment. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchup between the two teams this season, they have not yet played. The stability factor. Notice that Cincinnati is pretty stable at plus 8, although they were more consistent earlier in the month at plus 11, so the last few weeks have been less consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status, while the Cardinals have been very inconsistent all year there at minus one. So in the end, though, I think this is a Cardinals win, but I'm going to take it on a low-scoring game, so we'll take the Cardinals and under the line. Next thing we want to look at is Toronto and Tampa Bay. In this AL East battle, you see that Toronto comes in average down, losers of three out of their last four, and three and three over their last six, while Tampa Bay has also lost... Uh, they've lost their last two, and they're just two and four over their last six, and they're ice cold down. If you take a look at the over-under, notice that Toronto has been involved in these under in their last two, Tampa under in their last game, but overall, they've been trending in games over the line. The score predictor has a Toronto by a six to four margin, but confidence in prediction, again, in this one is pretty low at only about 31%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, Tampa Bay climbed all the way up to plus 29. They dropped a little bit over the last day to plus 27. Then Toronto went from plus 20 on the 16th up to plus 25. Head-to-head, -head, Toronto won two of the first three meetings this season back on April 14th, April 16th, and they were playing at home. Uh, the two teams that have the consistency factor. Here's Tampa Bay among the most consistent, if not the most consistent team in the league with regard to their favorite underdog status at plus 19. So in the end, though, I think this is a Tampa win, and I'm going to take them in a higher scoring game. So Tampa and over the line. Okay, now here's a battle here between the Dodgers and the Braves. The Dodgers come in average status, winners of four out of their last six, but just two, uh, one and two of their last three, and coming off of a blowout loss 16 to 8. The Braves are ice cold up. They are just two and four over their last uh, six, but they are two and one over the last three, so maybe things are trending in the right direction for them. If you take a look at the over under, the teams have been involved in games over the line in seven out of the last eight games combined. And the score predictor has the Braves by a tight one, six to five, but again, a low level of confidence in prediction, probably because it's still three days out before the game, but the confidence in prediction is only 34%. If you look at the power ranks indicator, the Dodgers have been hovering around the top of the league during this past week, while the Braves have been up and down. They were down at plus 16. You can see the up and down movement, and now they're at plus 20. Head to head, the two teams have not yet met this season. Take a look at their uh, stability factor. Atlanta has been more stable. That plus 12 compared to the Dodgers at plus 6, but both teams have been pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. So in the end, I think this is a Dodgers win. I like them on the road, but I'm going to pass on the over-under bet. 
The next game we want to look at is Houston and Milwaukee. Houston comes in burning hot winners of their last four and five out of their last six, while Milwaukee's average loses of two out of their last three. They are four and two, however, over their last six. The over-under teams have been trending on opposite sides of the line. You notice Houston in the last four games have been over. Milwaukee in their last two games under, and four out of the last six have been under. The score prediction has Houston by a 6-2 to two margin. Confidence in prediction is still relatively low at just under the percentage of a toss of a coin of 49%. We take a look at the power ranks indicator. Notice that Milwaukee is actually a little bit higher than Houston at plus 24 compared to plus 23. With the volatility oscillator, notice that the team, neither team is in very stable. I mean, the highest that Houston was is, uh, let's see. And Milwaukee, excuse me, was plus three, and they're currently at plus one. And you look at Houston, they, have, they haven't been consistent all year. The highest that they have been was way back on April 1st at plus one, and they are now at zero. So in the end, though, I like Houston in this one on the road. Another road uh, team going for the win here as far as what I'm thinking, and I would pass in the over-under bet. The last game we want to look at is... Boston and the Los Angeles Angels. Boston comes in average up. Winners of their last two, but just two and four over their last six. Uh, the Angels are ice cold up. Again, only two and four over the last six. They are coming off of a win. The teams have been trending in games over the line. You see both over in five out of their last six games. And the score predictor has what could be a relatively high scoring game. Seven to four. It, we don't have the line out yet. So we're not sure if that's going to be an over or an under. And the confidence in the prediction is at 65%. On the power ranks indicator, you can see that Boston was up near the top earlier in May, and they've been on up and down roller coasters since then. They are now at plus 16, while the Angels have been steady at plus 11 over the last couple of days. If you look at the stability factor again, I always like to look at this, and look how inconsistent Boston has been. Boston has never really been that stable all year. They were at plus 5 earlier in the year, relatively stable, but now they've, they've just hit a nosedive, and they're at Minus four, so they have been very inconsistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. I like the Angels at home in a game going over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball for Monday, May the 22nd. Happy betting, and we will see you next time.